it's kind of funny because when CrossFit, I found out about CrossFit at the time I was in the Marines, uh, maybe my second year. It was really just kind of leaking into the military crowd. Uh, so as much as I wanted to dive into it, I really couldn't. there I did the workouts I participated I had been like literally uh, legitimately crossing about three weeks straight and Jeremy when I first got to Austin was like sign up let's go to the California and do it so I did you could still sign up three weeks before there was no uh, qualifying process or whatnot so did it did the workouts got filleted I got spit back out over the weekend, but it was, it was phenomenal. I loved it. The competition, I got a taste of it. It kind of catapulted me into the training into the 09 season. Congrats. Nothing. <laughs> we qualified for the 09 games, and then it was like a six or seven week to, uh, time between 09 games went down. And it was, uh, it, it was a great idea I had that the next week after I was going to go mountain biking for the first time, no helmet, no experience, just tall ass, and I uh, end up busting my ass and uh, uh, breaking my collarbone. And then I took some time off, uh, 010, do you call it 010? 09, end of 09 going into 2010. And I was just getting back into hitting some was, uh January of 2010. And I didn't feel confident, honestly, uh, to compete in uh, the sectionals or even the regionals. I think I might have, I might have, I probably could have got away with it, but I just, I wouldn't have been happy. But I was a judge at the 2010 games, which was uh, a unique experience. It was great just to be a part of it in any way I can. But it was, it was uh, epiphany. I had it was the first workout, uh, the last heat. With the workout was Amanda, the uh, muscle ups and snatch, and I'm si I'm actually uh, judging Blair Morrison, and uh, Matt Chan's right behind me, and right next to him is Steel. But I'm looking at Blair Morrison the whole time, and then you know the workout starts, and, and the whole stadium is just on fire with energy, and I could feel it like through my soul. And then I know even the exact time that Matt Chan and either Kalipa and Chris Spieler were the last round because I the, and the, the noise was just. Awesome. So that like just fueled me with something that just I don't know, I have to be a part of this somehow. And uh, and I I don't know. I, I know I can do what it takes to get there. Uh, it's in me. It's just a matter of doing it right. It's all the thing doing. So that's been uh, my focus of uh, or my fuel for this. For this. I expect to be there. Like uh, I do. I, I believe if I do what's in me. If I just like we were talking about decide to do what it takes to get every workout go through that pain and whatnot uh, I expect to be there in the 2011 CrossFit Games sitting on the floor with the Mikos, the Spielers, the Chans, uh, you know all those guys that are going to be there as well so what's going to happen there I think uh, I'm going to embrace the moment and take full advantage of it because I you know you obviously know special moments in your life when you, when you have when you see them you just got to grab the beat and uh, I agree with you like I didn't take full advantage and I didn't I want to say I didn't really show up because I, uh, I just wasn't there with the, the issues that I had that were my fault so I take full responsibility in 08 I wasn't in shape so I wouldn't say like I really never competed in across the games yet I think it's gonna be uh, they're gonna uh, it's gonna be my first CrossFit Games that actually I can compete in. I can honestly say that. Yeah. I expect to win. I wouldn't be swinging if I didn't fucking expect to like hit the ball. You know what I mean? Uh, I wouldn't be swinging, so I do expect to win. If you don't, then you're not a competitor.